This is a game on how to play Free Cell. By the end of this video, you will know how to play it. Let's play. Now I want you to look here at the left side of the screen. We'll start there. You see there's four slots to put cards, hearts, clubs, diamonds, and spades. Now the goal of this game is going to be to put all of the cards, starting from ace all the way up to king, all the way up there. So you're gonna, so an ace, uh, an ace of diamonds goes there, followed by a two of diamonds, three of diamonds, four of diamonds. Now what you see in front of you is the gameplay itself, of course, it's all 52 cards, it's a single deck. It is eight rows. And the way this works is you can, you can only move the bottom card. And as you can see, any card that's above it is sort of locked in place until the card underneath it is moved. You'd be able to move this nine of hearts onto this 10 of spades. And that would open up the nine of spades. You could move this eight of clubs onto this nine of hearts, and that would do the same thing. Now, much like Klondike Solitaire, you can't put the same color on top of each other. It just doesn't go. You have to go every other color. Now, the game is called Free Cell, and that refers to the things on the right here, which is these four cells. These are important because this is how you move cards around the game. I always would just start the game by saying, is there any aces I can move? Make it simple. And really what you want to do is you want to find aces. I can't want to get to this ace of clubs, and this is where I can't get to that because there's a four of diamonds in the way. So this is where free cell is, is great. Uh, you have these four free cells. You move one out of the way, and it moves that automatically. And now, you know, you're onto a two of clubs or a two of diamonds. So the trick of the game is that you want to think about if I'm going to move these cards, at some point I'm going to need to move them back. So at some point, I need to either be able to get the two and three and put that on the four, or I'm gonna to need to find a black five and put it back. I like to also start the game by going through and saying, what are my easy turns? So I can move this 10 on this nine, and I can move this eight on, on that, and those are easy to do. I also see I have a two of diamonds there, right above this two of spades, so I could also move this into one of my free cell slots, automatically moving that. And that allows me to, say, move this, to this uh, nine of diamonds to that there. And ultimately I can move this nine of spades to this here. Now I'm, I'm moving them around, but as you can see, I've only got two free cell spots left, which is gonna lead me to the trick of this game, which is that ultimately you have to start moving things around in groups. So for example, I can put this here. Well, here is a jack 10, nine, and I wanna move actually all three of them, say to this queen. And you got to look and go, well, why did it let me just do that? Because really what's going on here is you are moving the nine, the 10 to the free cell slots, moving the jack up and then putting the 10 and the nine back. And so even though you, uh, you only had two free cell spots open, you were just now able to move three cards. Now I see I have an open three. I can put that three there and it allows me to move that four. Back. So that's great. So I look around and I got a low and say, well, there's an ace and there's an ace. The goal really would be to try to get to those aces in any way that I can. So I'm going to try to use my free cell aces to get to that ace and then allows me to take that two and put it there. And this game is putting some cards there automatically for me, which is great. A lot of times in free cell, it's a difficult game to start, but then as soon as you start to free up cards, you get a lot of cards moving quickly. So now I can move that king there, and I can move a jack there, and I hear I have a 10, 9, 8. I want to put it on the jack, and even though it will go, it's really what's going on is it's putting the 8 there, the 9 there, moving the 10, and then putting it all back. The game does that for you automatically. Watch, I can move that over there. And I, I really want to get to that ace, so I could put that there. And I can even move this seven, six and five and put it there. That clears up that ace. And so now I've got all the aces. Now I, I usually just start and work at the, the next lowest number. So in this case is a two of hearts that we haven't found yet. And there it is. And I'm going to attack finding that two of hearts. Although I do see I have a four and a five. I can easily do there. I have all of these together. Where can I put them? I could use all, all of them and put them in free cell slots, but that wouldn't work. I could move this eight and that will clear up this column. So now I, I could move the king, the queen, because remember what I've done is in the th three free cell slots, imagine I've moved a nine, 10 and jack and then moved everything back. And now I can actually move this, this four out of the way to clear up that two.
I usually look for the next lowest card, which is a three. There's only one three missing. It's this three of heart up here. So I have a 10, nine, eight. I can move it here. And remember, I'm doing it again because I'm able to move that nine and eight here, move the 10, and then I'd move the two back. And then I'd be able to move this 10 over. And that allows me to move it. The game is automatically moving my some of my next cards over. Now, the lowest card I see is really the four. I, I see I have a six and a seven. I wish I could move it to a red eight. I can. Again, the reason I'm able to do two cards is because there's free sell slots open. I can move this one here, this one, I can move the five there, and I can even move the eight there. That frees up that four. Like Now look at something like this. I really want to get to this six, these sixes that are all the way up there. And I can move all this huge chunk but there's nowhere I can put it. And even if I had, say, the ability to move that this thing like this, it's still just too many. It's too big a chunk because really, remember, you're moving the seven there, the eight there. At most, I could do is move the nine. So this is really how you get around something like this. I can put that there. And this would allow me to put, say, the seven there, the eight there, and the nine there, which then would allow me to move the 10. And then I can come back and go nine, eight, seven. Then that allows me to move these out of the way again, jack, queen, move the king, put back the jack, uh, the queen, put back the jack. In this case, I can even move that 10. And I can move this out of the way. And I'm looking to get to the sixes. So there's a six. I can move the king and queen. Remember, I can put the queen there. That'll allow me to move the king and then put the queen back. I can move that seven there. And I have a free cell spot so I can move the king out of the way to get to that six. It's automatically moving my sevens. If I was to move and clear up this seven, I am able to move all the cards out of the way for the win. It's a fun game. This was an easy level. It will make it much more challenging. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to make a lot of solitaire games, so um, check them all out. Bye.